chased him, but he fled. But if I told my dad, he'd say, It's, it's all inside, inside your head. head. You really cannot catch them or find their whereabouts. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. Germs. Hooray! Lunch! Tom Thomas, you brought your ball to lunch? It's filthy dirty. Don't you know how many germs are on it? Wash yourself up. Look, they're clean. Here, it's for you. I saw that. Now go back and wash your hands. Why? There are germs on Chusaka? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give it back. Again? Hi, Tom Thomas. Uh -huh. Why are you so angry? You go wash your hands five times solid. This is germs, that is germs. Maybe they don't even exist. Of course they do. It's just that they're so tiny, you can't see them without a microscope. Tom Thomas, let's go into your dad's office. He's got a microscope. We can take a look at some germs. Germs, or microbes, are such tiny creatures we need a microscope to see them. But they live everywhere. In the earth, the water, throughout the air. They're on everything, even on us. Some microbes are able to move around with the help of filaments or tails. Lots of microbes are harmless, but there are some dangerous ones too. If they get inside of you through your nose or your mouth, you could end up with a sore throat or a stomach ache. Turn it a little more. Stop, now take a look. <gasps> it's horrible. Hey, let me take a look. Wow, they're so scary. Hang on, do I really have germs like that living on my hands too? You got it. But I washed them, uh, seven times. With soap? No, just water. You have to use soap to get rid of germs, not just water. So which soap should I use? Either, this one, that one, they are both antibacterial, so they kill bacteria. And what about germs, will it kill them? Of course. Bacteria is just another name for germs. They're the same thing. Wash. Tom Thomas, give me a drop of that liquid soap. I want my hands to be real clean. Good job. That's the spirit. Hooray! We're clean! Let's go put that puzzle together. All right, but doesn't it have germs all over it? And they're on the soccer ball. What are we going to do? I think we should clean them with soap. No, clean the whole room. You're right. surrounded by millions of invisible microbes, including those that can cause an illness. But there is no need to be afraid of them if you follow these simple rules. Eat only washed fruits and veggies, keep your home clean, and wash your hands very well with soap, preferably an antibacterial one, and every day. Antibacterial soap protects you for a few hours after it's been washed off. It not only cleans your hands, but also stops germs from reproducing. There are useful microbes, too. Some bacteria can be added to milk to make yogurt and cottage cheese. Others are used for purifying water. Even inside of humans are a lot of useful bacteria that help their bodies digest food. <gasps> Nolik, what do you think? Are there microbes living on the soap? I don't know. We should wash that, too, just in case. Hey, what are you two doing in here? Washing the soap. With soap? So there won't be any germs on it. You've got to be joking. Listen, getting rid of all the microbes is impossible and unnecessary. You just need to protect yourself from the bad ones. Uh, 
Bacteria gone. Tom Thomas. I need a minute so I can <gasps> mop your room. But I already washed it. What a good boy. The table's sparkling. <gasps> Just look how clean it is in here. Great job. What's going on? Nothing. You're not getting sick, are you? No. Tom Thomas, you did a great job in here, only you're taking this cleaning way too far. Understand? I've got you. And do you get it? Me? Get what? That the most important thing is to make sure you wash your hands with soap. Okay. To the germ fighters! <laughs> Making the world safer, one less germ at a time. So much they need to learn to save us from disasters. There isn't one appliance that they don't know about. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. The iron. All done. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Professor Eugenia! <clears throat> yes, Elisa? The award ceremony's in an hour. You need to leave soon. I remember, Elisa. What are you getting an award for? It's the... <laughs> it's the genius of the year. Not too modest, but fair. <laughs> and well-deserved. Wow. And they're giving it to you? Well, yeah. Will they show it on TV? <laughs> Why, of course. Class. And during your speech, can you say hi to me? And me, and me. And Zipka. Right. Say something like this. I'd like to send a big shout out to all my Fixie friends. Oh, that's a great idea. That way, everyone can know about Fixies. Professor Eugenius, didn't I see an iron in here earlier? Hmm? Huh? Oh! Oh, come on, Elisa. There's no need for that. I'm not going to argue with you. You have to look just perfect. Otherwise, everybody is going to think that I don't take care of you. First, we'll let the iron warm up, and then I can iron your suit. The most essential part of an electric iron is called the heating coil. It's hidden inside the iron sole plate. When the iron is plugged into an electrical outlet, the coil gets hot and heats up the sole. People use a hot iron to remove the wrinkles from their clothing. Irons also have a water container. When the water gets hot, it turns into steam. The steam comes out through the holes in the iron sole, making it even easier to remove wrinkles. Wow, wow, that sure is hot. All that's left to do is pour some water into it. Professor, this is water, right? Yeah, yeah, it's water. That isn't water. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. It's not water. It's not water. Then what is it? Well, it's, uh, juice. Juice? Yeah, juice. Oh, no. The poor iron won't last. Phew. And it smells like crud. I broke the iron. It's awful. No, 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 <gasps> Elisa. Don't be so upset. Don't be so upset. It's the genius of the year ceremony, and you'll be in a wrinkled suit in front of the whole country. Oh, I won't survive. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Elisa, hang in there. Be careful. Elisa. <laughs> Elisa. Professor Eugenius, are you all right? Oh, couldn't be any better. We're going to go fix that iron for you. And while we're doing that, you go fix Elisa. That would be great. <gasps> Look over there. I'll fix the contact. You and Nola can scrape that burnt juice off the iron. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Elisa, Elisa, please wake up. Uh... We did it. Your iron is fixed. Elisa, you should see the iron. It's working. What? And I'm just lying around here? I have to hurry. Where's the iron and your suit? Wrinkled 
clothing is not very beautiful. And that's why, since ancient times, people have been trying to find different ways to get rid of wrinkles. For example, long ago, people would put their wrinkled clothing under a heavy, flat rock. In ancient Rome, people used to beat their crinkled garments with a metal hammer. And in China, fabric was ironed with hot frying pans. Irons with a shape like what is used today appeared during the Middle Ages. They were made out of cast iron and needed to be heated up on a stove before they could be used. Later, people came up with irons that were heated by putting hot coals inside. And finally, in the 19th century, a convenient electrical iron was invented and has been used ever since. And the prize for Genius of the Year goes to... Professor Eugenius! Bravo! Bravo, Professor! I thank you. I give my sincerest thanks to you. And may I take this opportunity to send my greetings to Fix? Uh, uh, uh to all the fix -assists. Just give me the prize. Oh, that was quick thinking. Brilliant! He is just astounding. Perfection from head to toe. <gasps> Well, practically perfect. <laughs> Fixies have a special sign I happen to discover. They hold three fingers in the air and flash it to each other. They send their greetings to you. They sing them and they shout. But if you meet a Fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a Fixie, please don't let The spider. Chusaka, Chusaka. Tom Thomas, what are you doing? I'm petting Chusaka. How come? Because huh? it makes her feel good. Just don't rub her fur off. <laughs> You're just jealous, guys, because you don't have any pets of your own. What do you mean? We've got a pet. Yoo-hoo, Buggy! Buggy! She was in the vent the last time I saw her. Hmm. Buggy! Come on out. We need to talk. Here, this is our friend, Buggy. Wait, this insect is really your pet? Ha! <laughs> what a joke. Buggy's a spider. She's not an insect at all. But isn't a spider a kind of insect? Insect is the term used for mosquitoes, flies, beetles, dragonflies, butterflies, ants, and many others. Spiders certainly look a lot like insects. They have very similar legs. But spiders aren't insects. They're arachnids. Insects have six legs, while spiders have eight of them. Many insects can fly, but spiders can't. But spiders can weave spider webs. They may look beautiful, but really they are traps for hunting insects. How come your buggy has five legs instead of eight of them? I don't know. <laughs> she lost them somehow. Anyhow, she can do lots of tricks. Hello, buggy. How do you do? We know how to do that trick. Chusaka, shake. Just see that? And I bet your buggy can't do this. Chusaka, sit. Buggy, sit. Why aren't you sitting? Lie down. Your turn. Lie down. Watch me. Like this. Lie down. She can't do that trick. Her fifth leg must be in the way. Lie down. Lie down, I told you. What, what kind of pet are you anyway? You can't even do a simple trick. Hey, where are you going? Wait, Buggy, don't go. No, like you should be ashamed of yourself. But why is she acting? So stupid. <gasps> Didn't you say that she was your friend? And what? Well, you shouldn't yell at your friends like that. She's right. What kind of friend are you? I'll go find her. And apologize. Buggy! Do you hear me? Buggy, is that you? I think 
like having pets to live with them in their homes. Dogs, cats, hamsters, parrots, fish, turtles. Some folks even get crocodiles. And the bigger the animal, the more work it takes to take proper care of it. But every pet needs love and care, no matter what size it is. Fixies like to have pets, too. All sorts of little bugs, spiders, and flies. Fixies treat them as friends and take care of them. Of course, a little spider isn't as smart as a dog, but they also can be trained. There are some Fixies who have managed to domesticate such big insects as bees, beetles, and dragonflies. Fixies fly on their backs and use them to carry heavy loads. That's it. I'm stuck all alone in here. Forever. Simka? Oh, how did you find me? Buggy let me down here. Buggy, you didn't ditch me. I'm sorry. I promise I'll never ever yell at you again. Ow, my leg. Hang in there, Nolik. We'll get you out. It was so scary. You could have died down there. Yeah, I almost died. But you know what? Buggy saved me. Yeah, that's cooler than learning how to shake hands. Buggy sure is a true friend indeed. Does your leg really hurt a lot? Ah! <gasps> <laughs> nah, it doesn't really hurt. I'm fine. I was just joking. <laughs>